The top five richest European billionaires. What would the world's billionaires list look like without the American and Asian mavericks doing spectacular things in tech and other fields of endeavor? Take away these two groups and you could find an exciting crop of European billionaires who made their fortune from unlikely areas. Today, we'll look at the top five European billionaires and what they do for money. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. Number five, Beata Heister and Karl Albrecht Jr., $39.2 billion, Germany. Heirs to the Aldi retail fortune, Beata Heister and Karl Albrecht Jr. are the children of Karl Albrecht Sr., who died in July 2014 at age 94. After World War II, Karl Sr. and his brother, Theo Sr., who died in 2010 at age 88, took over the family's corner grocery store in Essen, Germany. Propagating the discount revolution in German retailing, they built the Aldi supermarket chain based on a low-price strategy similar to Walmart. In 1961, the brothers split ownership. Carl Sr. took the stores in southern Germany, plus rights to the Audi brand in the UK, Australia, and the US. Theo Sr. got the stores in northern Germany and the rest of Europe. In 1971, he bought US grocery chain Trader Joe's. The family entity, Seipmann Stiftung, is believed to own at least 75% of Audi Sud, with the rest owned by charitable foundations. Beata Heister has never worked at Audi Sud, but with her husband Peter and son Peter Max Heister, one of six children, sits on the advisory board. Carl Jr. has no children, has worked in different positions at the company, but withdrew from his duties after being diagnosed with cancer. Beata's husband and children, along with Carl Jr.'s wife, Gabrielle Mertes, are all believed to have a share in the fortune. Number 4. Francois Pinot, $52.3 billion, France. Francois Pinot is honorary chairman of luxury group Kerrig, which owns fashion brands Saint Laurent, Alexander McQueen, and Gucci. Pinot founded Kering, which started as a wood and building materials company in 1963. In 1999, Pinot changed the direction of the business towards luxury goods when he bought a controlling stake in Gucci Group. The company that made $16 billion in 2020 sales also owns watch brand Gerard Perigot, which is run by Pinot's son, Francois Henri. Pinot and his family own iconic auction house Christie's plus a $5,000 piece art collection with works by Picasso, Mondrian, and Coons. The Pinot Collection Museum is set to open in the 18th century Bourse de Commerce, building in Paris in 2021. In 2013, Pinot was worth $15 billion, making him the 53rd richest person in the world and the third wealthiest man in France. In under a decade, he has more than tripled his net worth. Pinot was born on August 21, 1936 in Le champ a small commune in the west of France. Raised by a timber trader in the rural French countryside, Franceau worked in his father's timber business at an early age. By the age of 16, he had dropped out of school in Rennes. In 1956, Pinot enlisted in the military during the Algerian War. After returning to civilian life, he experienced the passing of his father. He subsequently sold his family's timber business, and the rest is history. Today, Franco Pinot and his family have a private art collection of more than 5,000 pieces. His first major purchase was a piece by Paul Serrusier in 1980. Some of the most notable pieces are from artists such as David Hammonds, Rudolf Stengel, Coons, Paul McCartney, Donald Judd, and other contemporary artists. He initially collected 20th century art by artists like Picasso and Mondrian. Number 3. Francois Betancourt Myers, $83 billion, France. Francois Betancourt Myers is a French billionaire heiress and the richest woman in the world. Raised to be a strict Catholic, she has written several Bible commentaries and works on Jewish Christian relations. She is the only daughter and heiress of Lillian Bentoncourt. She married Jean-Pierre Myers, the grandson of a rabbi, and they raised their children, Jean-Victor and Nicholas is Jewish. Her marriage caused controversy because of her grandfather Eugene Schuler's trial for collaboration with the Nazi government. He was L'Oreal's founder. Bettencourt Myers and their family still own a 33% stake in the company. In 2008, she sued Francois-Marie Bonnet for taking money from her mother, and she started proceedings to have her mother declared mentally incompetent.
incompetent. The revelations in the secret recordings that were used in the evidence led to the Worth Betancourt scandal. In December 2010, Betancourt Myers announced that she had settled out of court with her mother and Bonnier. Her mother died in September 2017 when her net worth was about $39.5 billion, which makes Betancourt Myers among the top 20 wealthiest people in the world. After a fire severely damaged Notre Dame de Paris, Betancourt Myers and L'Oreal donated $226 million to repair the cathedral. Even though she is better known as the heiress of the world's largest cosmetic company, Betancourt Myers also has an active academic career. A prominent author, she has written books on Jewish-Christian relations as well as on Greek mythology. Number 2. Amancio Ortega, $84.9 billion, Spain Amancio Ortega of Spain is one of the wealthiest clothing retailers in the world. A pioneer in fast fashion, he co-founded Inditex, known for its Zara fashion chain, with his ex-wife Rosalia Mera in 1975. He owns about 60% of Madrid-listed Inditex, which has eight brands including Massimo Dutti and Pull and & Bear in 7,500 stores worldwide. Ortega typically earns more than $400 million in dividends a year. He has invested his dividends primarily into the real estate in Madrid, Barcelona, London, Chicago, Miami, and New York. Amancio Ortega Gaona was born in Busango de Arabas, Leon, Spain, on the 28th of March, 1936. He is the son of Antonio Ortega Rodriguez and Josefa Gaona. Hernandez. He mostly spent his childhood in Leon. Ortega left school at an early age and moved to Corona at the age of 14. Shortly after, he founded a job as a shop hand for a local shirt maker called Gala, which still sits on the same corner in downtown Corona. He learned his trade from there. His public appearances in 2000 as part of the warm-up prior to his company's initial public offering on the stock market in 2001 made headlines in the Spanish financial press. Ortega was, however, the only one who was ever granted interviews to three journalists. In 2011, Ortega announced his imminent retirements from Inditex's parents' company to the Zara chain, stating that he would ask Inditex vice president and CEO Pablo Isla to take his place. Number 1. Bernard Arnault – $187.1 billion France of the world's ultimate tastemakers, Bernard Arnault, the owner of luxury group Moet, Hennessy, Louis Vuitton, LVMH, briefly became the richest person alive in May, according to the latest data from Forbes' real-time billionaires list replacing Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. However, after a short duration, Bezos reclaimed the top spot with a wealth estimate of $188.2 billion. Arnault remains in the second position with a net worth of $187.1 billion on the Forbes real-time billionaires list. He is the CEO and owner of the luxury goods conglomerate Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton. LVMH, the world's largest luxury goods producer. The group owns more than 70 different luxury brands, including Louis Vuitton, Christian Dior, Tag Heuer, Givenchy, and Moet, among others. The group is the most valuable company in Europe, with more than $329 billion in market capitalization. Bernard started working in his father's construction company in the early years of his career and earned a small fortune, which he used to buy Christian Dior in 1985 by acquiring its bankrupt parent company, Bosac Saint Freires. Soon after, Arnaud managed to invest and take over the LVMH brand. He then went on to a two-decade run to bring major luxury brands under the umbrella of LVMH. The latest of these luxury brands to join the fold was Tiffany & Company, the American jeweler, in a $15.8 billion deal. The deal was the largest for any luxury label. Through a significant stake in LVMH and other brands, his fortunes depend heavily on how the companies are doing on the stock market. If the shares rise, so does his net worth. While LVMH's profits and revenue fell in 2020, the share prices have continued to increase through the year. That's why Arnaud's wealth has steadily climbed over $100 billion in just the last year. After LVMH announced recently that it collected $16.7 billion in revenues in the first quarter of 2021, up by a significant margin from last year, the stock prices rose even higher. It is yet to be seen if Arnaud can reclaim the top spot is not only Europe's richest man, but the world's most prosperous as he continues to buy shares of his company while at the same time Bezos is selling his shares of Amazon. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to check out more videos on our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.